Guys, if you know anything about knives, you know about case knives. And they've been around since 1889. W.R. Case started uh, case knives over 130 years ago. And there's good reason why these knives are still being used and collected. Case knives are just good quality. Uh, they're very utilitarian. A lot of times they can be basic. But there are also some pretty cool features that I honestly wasn't aware of. I have a number of case knives in my collection, and I love the, just that thin clip point blade. I mean, it's simple. It's easy to use for the things that I typically like. And so if it was good enough for my grandfather, you know, it was good enough for me because he used knives on an everyday basis much more than I do <laughs> because that's just the way they lived. So GetZone.com got in touch with me and asked if I would take a look at three different offerings from case knives. And so when I got them in, guys, even though some of these designs have been around for a while, it really surprised me at the versatility of case knives, especially for survival and prepping, but also just every day. Now, one of the things about case that surprises me is you can go from this little trapper, which is really simple, uh, and then you can move it up to this hobo knife, which is a complete utensil set. This is really cool. We'll look at this in a second. And then we have the X XX Changer. Uh, this knife actually has multiple blades and it really has this nice sheath. So we're going to take a look at each one. I think each one has its own merits and I've got some ideas about some things that really set case knives in this traditional style apart than a lot of things that we're seeing. Now first I want to look at the trapper because it is the most simple but there are a couple of things about this to me that set it apart from a lot of the knives that we see today. Uh, this has the, the orange synthetic, but one of the most common colors is kind of a light yellow color. And it also comes in the, the bone as well. Uh, but it's a really well finished, you can see just everything, the seams. Man, it's just impeccable. I mean, and I see why and understand why the quality of these makes a lot of people want to collect them. Especially the very unique styles. Uh, but it's just got that traditional clip point blade, which is typical for your case knives. Now, one thing is, because of that polished mirrored finish, fingerprints show up really easily. But one thing that I love about this knife is how thin, thin it is. It's really thin. This, you know, a lot of times with our tactical knives, it seems like the thicker the better. You know, the, higher, the harder the steel, the better. Uh, this is a very utilitarian knife. It's really easy to slice. It's so thin that it just cuts through things so fast. And that clip point blade has been popular for so long. And there's, again, really good reasons why. But one of the things that I love about it is that it has the two blades. Now, you know, with a lot of the traditional knives or the tactical type knives that we have today, you just don't get that extra blade. So you have a spay blade as well. This is great for uh, trapping, for, you know, uh, removing pelts. And that's what this is made for. It's a trapper. And a lot of people have carried these, you know, very experienced outdoorsmen for a long time. Now, the steel that Case uses, they're two different types. I mean, there's some others, but traditionally, uh, one of the big ones is their True Sharp. It's a stainless steel, and so it just gives you a very clean edge. It's fairly easy to maintain, and of course, it keeps corrosion down with it being stainless steel. Now, the Trapper really became popular during the 1880s. Uh, it's a three-inch blade. Overall, it's seven and a half inches in length course you had that clip point and then the spay blade for removing pelts really is what it's really made for uh, but it's just a solid handy easy to use utility knife I mean you can really take care of most of your task with this kind of knife I think the retail price on these is like $51.99 and there's a number of places where it runs in the low $40 range Next is one that just really kind of surprised me. Uh, I have some different sets, utensil sets, and they're great. But this is the Hobo Knife. It's actually uh, from an, an original design that's been around for a long time. Um, in fact, these have been around since, you know, the uh, 1800s as well. A lot of different type designs. Uh, this is, again, in this True Sharp. It's stainless steel. You have a spoon. You have a fork. And then you have a knife, and it is the clip point knife. Uh, we have the uh, bone handles. This is the Amber Bone Peach Seed Jigged. It's, it's one of their just flagship kind of designs from Case. You have the Case logo. Look how finely that thing is just placed in there. Uh, everything is so tight. Everything is just well executed. And Case Knives takes a lot of pride in their knife production. And so it's just a really beautiful piece. 
Okay, but what's really cool about this design is I can pull my fork out. And as long as I get it to a 90 degree angle, I can push down and then lift this right off. Just like that. So here I have a fork separate. And then I can take the spoon, bring it up to a 90 degree angle, push it down, and then lift it up as well. Now it's locked in, you can see with these locks. This is kind of key mod. <laughs> and then we have this little hook right here that's actually a bottle opener, but you bring it down and it locks it into the blade. And so here we have our spoon, our fork, and then we have the knife in the center, which comes out just like this. And so you have all three utensils that you can use and then yet put this all back together in one small package. Uh, it is a little bit heavy, but it's definitely something that would last you for a lifetime. Lock it in, and then when you bring it down, it locks. Now we need to go ahead and get that knife put aside as well. And then we bring in our spoon, lock it, bring it down. Now one thing you'll notice is it is so solid you don't even know it. In fact, when I first got it, uh, I was like, okay, this is really cool, but what if you need a fork and a knife? Or, you know, you, you're doing it separately. you got to close them back and forth. I didn't even realize at first that this would unlock until I accidentally opened it up and it shifted. And that's really just to say how tight this is. Now, again, it isn't the true sharp. It's a stainless steel, so it's going to last a while. But then you can actually just use the knife, and that's one of the reasons why the knife is locked into place, because you can use the knife for normal task, which is the knife you're going to use more than anything else. And so the other two pieces will remove, but the knife will not. So just gives it a really cool look. Now it weighs 7.6 ounces, so it's fairly heavy. Uh, but this is something, you know, that's going to help feed you. <laughs> and two, just part of the nostalgia of the case, you know, quality makes it a very nice addition. Uh, it, with it closed, it's about four and an eighth of an inch. It's about one and a quarter inches in width. And then when we pull the knife out, overall length is seven and a quarter inches. And the clip point blade is three inches in length. And guys, this is just such a great utility design. Retail price on these is about $120.99, uh, but this one runs anywhere between $80 and $90. Uh, the sheath is separate and it runs about 10 bucks. Now the XX Exchanger, this is just a great system to bring together. And I love the sheath. It's just got that oiled leather, very high quality, stamped. It smells great. It feels great. And uh, of course you can put it on your belt once you bring this out and shape it somewhat. But the sheath itself to me is just a thing of beauty. Then we have a nice snap, we can open it up, and then we bring out the blade itself or the knife. Uh, this is an interchangeable knife. We have multiple blades, and I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. Uh, but we have the brass with the rosewood handles, and uh, they have a number of different handle types you can get, and of course, bone is one of them. Uh, but just a really high quality, nice blade. Now we have the clip point right here, and uh, of course, that is again one of Case's most popular blade sizes. Now, this is a five inch clip point. We have the lock back here so we can bring it down. And it's just good and solid. I mean, the clip as it clips together, nice solid feel to it. And man, this thing is rock solid. But again, the quality, the fit and finish with Case. It's just unparalleled, really, with these traditional knives. But here's the cool thing about it. You can pull it up, then you push in your lock, and the blade itself rocks out. And so it gives you a really good secure fit as it's straight out, but of course it'll move around. And each one is identified right here on the lock. So let's bring out our drop point blade, which is one of my favorites. Press down on the lock, drop in your blade, it snaps, then it closes up. And now we have a drop point. Go ahead and bring it down, press your lock, bring it out. Next, we're gonna take a look at the saw. I mean, guys, there's just so many options with this, and this keeps you from carrying a lot of different tools. Lock it, snap it, you're good to go. And this is a very aggressive saw. Bring it down, hold it into place, and lift it out. Last but not least, we have what we call the utility, but I would actually call this a fillet knife. And so you're able to not only worry about your hunting, but you're also with your fishing. <laughs> Bring this out and it locks into place. 
telling you guys, this is a really super cool design. Very versatile and easy to use. And yet, it's really strong. Let's go ahead and return our clip point. Lock it in. And guys, there's nothing worse than getting out somewhere and just not having the tools that you need. This is one total package. Now, it also does have an option for a gut hook. And you can order that separately. And I believe you can actually order it with the uh, the whole set if you want it in that design. Uh, one thing I like too is it has this plastic insert and this is going to protect your sheath when you put your blades down in here. So we can just put one at a time. So as we set them down in there, everything is organized. Close up our knife, drop it in, snap it into place, put it on your belt and man you have a toolbox right here. The MSRP on the XX Changer is $147. Uh, and then, of course, if you go up to Bone, it does run it on up to about $184. And I found it for under $100. I think it was $98.99 on one site that I saw it. So, guys, quality is quality. And while case knives have definitely improved their technology in putting together really good quality knives, the fit and finish on these is excellent. And there is a great reason why these are not only used but collected by so many people. And the value of these just continues to go up. But good quality, guys, in, in the field is key. Good steel, good workmanship, good craftsmanship. It's going to last you. And so check out the different case knives that they have to offer. There are so many different ones. Uh, but to me, really, the ones that we've looked at today really just kind of stand out. And very usable in a survival, a camping, hiking, just the great outdoors and being able to be well prepared with your blade because a knife is one of your most important tools in the wilderness and for survival. And again, I want to thank GetZone.com and Case Knives for sending these for this review. Um, guys, it's just really cool to see the innovation in these great traditional styles. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. There's no lock back, it just locks. <laughs> so if you're into survival and prepping, uh, sorry.